डॉक्टर राकेश अग्रवाल आई एम सीनियर कंसल्टेंट न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट एट अपोलो हॉस्पिटल वी सी लॉट ऑफ पेशेंट्स ऑफ स्ट्रोक एंड इट हैज बीन देयर फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम ओनली थिंग बिकॉज द अवेयरनेस हैज इंक्रीज सो नंबर ऑफ पेशेंट्स वी सी हैव इंक्रीज द नंबर हैज इंक्रीज पार्टली बिकॉज ऑफ द मोस्ट स्ट्रेसफुल लाइफ स्टाइल दैट लीडिंग टू मोर इंसिडेंस ऑफ हाई ब्लड प्रेशर मोर मोर इंसिडेंस ऑफ डायबिटीज and bad diets because of all these fast foods that have become available leading to higher incidence of stroke and also because of the increased awareness also more and more people are coming to the hospitals for early diagnosis of stroke the stroke is a neurological emergency because if treated early then you can really reduce lot of morbidity and mortality associated with stroke the commonest symptom for the diagnosis of early stroke is brief loss of motor strength on one side of the body or sudden numbness or tingling on one side of the body however there can be other symptoms like sudden onset of giddiness repeated vomiting sudden loss of consciousness walking difficulty or abnormal behavior of sudden onset all these symptoms can also be an indication of early stroke though not necessarily whenever patient get these symptoms he should immediately contact his local physician and probably go to the nearest big hospital for an emergency ct scan or an mri and that normally leads to the diagnosis and for the treatment part once the diagnosis is confirmed such patient needs to be put on blood thinners these blood thinners are commonly which are available are ecosprin and clopidogrel but in certain cases intravenous or subcutaneous blood thinners have also been to be given despite early treatment many patients will still deteriorate but if the earlier the treatment is started the more is the effectiveness there is another drug that is called as thrombolysis by tpa this drug is only given within the first 4 hours or 6 hours of the onset of the stroke so for this it is very important that the patient should report to the emergency as soon as possible if he attends to the emergency out of the window period then the option of giving this drug is out however i must caution this is not a miracle drug but it is one of the good options that is available once the stroke has become old and there is a residual neurological deficit then the treatment is basically rehabilitation and some ongoing blood thinners in the oral form to prevent future stroke and the other part of the treatment is change in the lifestyle good control of blood pressure or blood sugar good control of blood pressure good control of lipids and uh, other ancillary medical treatments that have to be tackled with thank you